I'm Kathleen George. I am a tribal councilwoman of the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ronde. Uh, I've served on tribal council for two and a half years. I'm in my first term. It's Michael Langley. I'm on tribal council. I've been on tribal council for about a year and a half. And the process that one goes through to serve on tribal council is uh, you have to be nominated by an adult tribal member and then you spend a lot of time listening to the membership and talking to them about uh, how you'd like to serve the community and the kind of goals that you have for serving on council. And then there is an election. So uh, all tribal members 18 and older are eligible to vote for who they think uh, the best people to serve their community on council are. We have three uh, tribal council positions up every year for election and so the people who get the three highest number of votes uh, are elected to serve on tribal council. Uh, a tribal council person can serve as many terms as they are elected by the people to serve our tribal community. So our role on tribal council, just broadly speaking, we, we serve the legislative branch and the executive branch of our government. But the day-to-day -day matters of tribal governance, housing, education, police, um, the wide variety of programs that we administer, uh, decisions regarding those programs likely come to Tribal Council through our legislative action process. So whether it's applying for a grant, approving a new program, designating funding, or you know resolving an issue or dispute that's come up in our administrative government functions, those issues are likely to come before Tribal Council uh, for a decision. Uh, 